I realized that none of these artists was making real money. They was talented, but I said they don't know economics. Mm-hmm. So when you know economics, you know how to get to the money. And so that's what I teach my kids and the people around me. So, you know, inside. learn economics. Understand what banking is. Understand where the money is. Because these guys just want to deal. Like, even you look at the guys now mm. that that's probably big right now with social media. I just seen they had N- NBA Young Boy. He's the biggest YouTuber, mm. you know, for his Influencer, music. Influencer, wow. Influencer for his music. But think about the deals that this generation is doing. Yeah. So he did a deal. I looked at it. If I would have been on his team, he did a deal for $2 million for five records. So think about that. You got the money up front. But imagine what they get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have to teach that to the next generation. Look at the bigger picture. Don't just look at the now. And that's what I did. I was like, man, yeah, that, that million dollars look good right now, but... What about 10 years from now? Right. You know, I wouldn't be able to live like I live yeah. right now. And a taxable million and yeah. a recoupable million. Yeah. And a, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. hand you a million. You it's think, advanced. I'm rich. I'm gone. Yeah. That's a write-off for them. Yeah, man. You think about it. But you done sold your soul to a 360 deal that you have no knowledge of. Because you in the ghetto, you like millions. I need of, it right now. Two million now sound like a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what if you blow up? So nobody's mm-hmm. thinking about what if they blow up. It is. For, it's good. Some of these deals, because a lot of people don't want to be entrepreneurs. Mm. Or work. So that's right. where the record company gets you at. You know, so I, I tell people all the time, you know, the record companies in this generation is really just pimping. So it's almost like a basketball player. If you got your stuff together, you don't have to be a basketball prostitute. You don't right. have to right. be Nike and Adidas pimping your kid for a book bag and a pair of tennis shoes. Yeah. <laughs> we can create that our own. Same mm. thing in the music business. It's ways now. With the digital download and stuff like that, you could actually be a millionaire if if you take your time, if you get a hit record and want to put the time and sacrifice. But l- this generation really don't want to do that. What's good? It's Thomas Rock with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video, make sure y'all own your own shit. Now, before we go any further in this video, man, make sure you go ahead and like the video, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Thomas Rock Music, and make sure you go ahead and share this video with anybody who can relate and need this information. In this clip, we got Master P talking about why rappers sell they soul to these record labels. Now, in this video, man, we got Master P talking some real shit as usual, man. He talking about how artists these days, they just be wanting these deals. They just trying to rush to the fame. Now, we always talk about it on this channel. These record labels, they play the perception game where they inflate numbers, they inflate followers, and the ticket sales never really match up. So really, when you sign into these record deals, it's really like you really just trading off ownership and just your overall independence just for the fame. And that's literally it. And then they show it off like you getting all this money and everything like that and you gonna be long term rich but we see so many artists just come and go and then what do they really have after that? The number one most important thing that I know most independent upcoming artists don't pay attention to, man, they don't study the music business. They don't understand how business works. They don't understand what goes behind all these deals and what goes behind anybody giving somebody money to make something happen. And it's crazy because we got so many videos online nowadays where we see all the bad stories and all the bad deals people signing and then they want to get out of the deal to where it is nowadays to where if you sign a bad deal nowadays, it's kind of like you just wanted to do that and you just just, you know what I'm saying? You didn't care. And the main thing I always speak on, man, you got to think long term, man. That bag right now is not going to mean shit in five years if you fall off and that label not pushing your music no more. They not giving you that perception push. Right now with all these interviews with artists from the 90s and everybody who was signing all these bad deals and everything like that, and they giving all the game. They telling you all their mistakes that they made and they telling you all the bad things they had to go through dealing with these record labels and the bad deals that they went ahead and signed. You got to really lock in and pay attention to that, man, and start seeing it for really what it is. And we spoke on on this channel, our record label is really a bad thing, man. I'm going to go ahead and link that video up here so y'all can go ahead and check that out. I broke it down, how these record labels really think and the way you should look at record labels and why they do what they do. As music artists, you are a business, you're a brand, and you got to move accordingly. You got to know how all business works. You got to understand the psychologies behind all business, understand the motives behind all business, all the transactions that go on between any business. You got to understand there's motive behind every deal. There's motive behind any transaction that you're going to come across. Across. There's motive behind any partnership you're going to come across, etc., etc. I personally got so many videos on building a brand and there's so many videos and so much things that you can study on building a successful power brand. And if you study the game, no matter what field they're talking about, they could be 
talking about how to build a brand for a marketing team or a clothing brand. But all the same rules apply and you can follow that in your music career. And we speak about why you got to think of yourself as a business because it's going to make your music career way more simple and it's going to give you an edge because most people are not looking at it this way. And another thing we always speak on, man, if you rely on your music solely for all your income, you putting a cap on your success financially. You got to monetize other things around the music. You have a personality and if you're a music artist, you're a creative person. So you got to put your creativity to work and make money from that in so many ways. It could be your personality. It could be the way you dress. It could be the way you look. It could be your process in the studio. It could be all types of things or you could put all those things into one. And the more experience you gain with that, the more you're going to get confident with it and you're going to be able to thrive on a whole nother level. If you're a music artist and you're trying to build a successful brand, man, you got to be posting social media content. One of the best places to do that is right here on YouTube, man. And if you try and grow your YouTube channel fast, make sure you go ahead and download the link to a tool called TubeBuddy. I got it right down in the description. It's a free Chrome extension that's going to give you all the tools to grow your YouTube channel faster than all your competition. Giving you the best tags for your videos, the best titles for your videos, the best topics to speak on with the least amount of competition, and to get your videos optimized for the search engine. So make sure y'all go ahead and download that link down below in the description. And make sure y'all go ahead and leave a comment down below talking about the topic, man. Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I'm out of here, man. Tell me what's next. We've been on the phone for like 20 hours. And your friends all on my body, they don't know better. Yo, I've been stuck up on you, girl. It ain't no better. Yo, better you, better you. Tell me what's next. I've been on the road, don't need you to blow my phone.